This is Natasha De Souza reporting for Salt Voices, and I'm here at Salt Abu Dhabi with Bill Gross, the founder of Idea Lab. Welcome, Bill. Thank Good you. to see you. Thank you. You had a very fascinating talk yesterday that left all of us at Salt enthralled. Talk to us about why climate change is the next big technology opportunity. Well, climate change is a huge challenge, but I actually have a contrarian view that it's actually an enormous opportunity. Okay. The world relies on energy tremendously. It's actually 10% of the $80 trillion global GDP. If we can reduce our energy costs and do it in a renewable and clean way, that actually is the best way to enhance the planet. It's the best way to grow the planet, and it's a huge financial opportunity. So I look at it more as an opportunity than a problem, and I think there's really great promise there. What in particular about climate change do you think you know requires, say, you know, climate change affects so many aspects of our life, right? From event, the whole reason there's this new movement in food is because we know that climate change is affecting crop production. The whole reason we're having certain situations with crops is because our weather is changing, you know, et cetera, et cetera. When it comes to climate change, where do you, I think, see those specific, investable, exciting opportunities? Everything that we can do to replace fossil fuel mm -hmm. with renewable energy has a chance to have an impact. Okay. And we are releasing, this is an incredible fact, every person on earth produces about one pound of trash per day. Basically, all okay. seven and a half billion people make about seven and a half billion pounds of trash. Okay. But we put 32 pounds of trash, CO2 trash, into the atmosphere. We are putting more into the atmosphere than we're putting into the earth from the, from the way we live with fuel. So anything we can do to reduce that. Okay. Basically, there's a landfill in the sky that's invisible that we don't see that we need to clean up. Interesting. And okay. if, if we can go ahead and find ways to renewably make our energy okay. without putting that CO2 trash in the atmosphere, it's a huge, huge savings and a huge opportunity. And that's what I'm focused on. Wow. Now, you also talked about how at Idea Lab, unlike a traditional VC, you know, you incubate businesses from the beginning. You know, you're there going from zero to one. You know, how has that ethos served you best in terms of the businesses that you build? Well, what I love doing is looking for big problems in the world mm -hmm. and then brainstorming technological solutions to them and then building companies around them. So at Idea Lab, we saw this as a big problem. We brainstormed a brand new company called Heliogen. This was a company focused on finding a way to solve this problem, mm -hmm. finding a way to concentrate sunlight to replace and create fossil fuels, okay. fuels that would be equivalent with fossil fuels but made from the sun. Okay. We put in the initial $250,000 to get the company started. We then get great investors to come. We build a team. We now have okay. a team of 20 great Caltech and other engineers helping us make this happen. And then we just launched the company two weeks ago and had a huge global response. So it really is exciting to see from the very germ of the idea mm -hmm. all the way through to building a demonstration, announcing, and then seeing the public really cares about this. Because you're in there, you're sweating it out too with these oh, founders, right? Oh, absolutely. They're right from the beginning, which is very, very different. You know what I love when, even in this discussion that you and I are having, is the energy and the enthusiasm. <laughs> and I can see your eyes light up when you speak about this. Like you are genuinely really passionate about this opportunity. Oh, I have to tell you a reason why. Uh, um, I grew up when I was 15 years old. I lived through the 1973 energy crisis. Okay. And in California, where I live, there were mile long lines to wait for $5 of ration gasoline. And when I saw that, it was transformative for me. I thought, boy, maybe there's some kind of alternative energy we could come up with that would be more evenly distributed That's around the world. That's what you were thinking at the and age of 15. I was thinking 15. of it at 15. Okay. And fortunately, I had success with internet companies and other companies to give me the resources to be able to pursue that dream of mine. Okay. And now that's what I'm working on. With this new company, Heliogen, I am all in on that. With my new company, Energy Vault, I'm all in on that. With Carbon Capture, all in, just everything I can do to try and make a difference in this area. You know, you've been in the investing world, you know, you've seen, I think, startups, the whole tech space evolve over a number of, of years, a few decades here too. What's changed within that space in well, terms of, are we like, you know, veering more to, are there certain kinds of businesses that we seem to favor a lot more today to the detriment of other opportunities, you know, for uh, change? I, I don't think so. Here's, here's what I think is the new, the new improvement in the world okay. from when I first started. Okay. Global reach. Because of the internet, because of four billion people on the planet with a supercomputer in their pocket, mm. because of the global knowledge of problems, if you come up with an idea now, you can touch people all over the planet. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a possibility to make much more impact. When I first started in a little software company I had, I had to make my software product, I had to find dealers to sell it, okay. distributors. Okay. There were all these bottlenecks to getting the product out in the market. Okay. And now you can touch the whole planet. So the opportunity to scale it's is much way, more immense way, today. Way bigger. And, okay. and the opportunity to look for big problems 
and then get the talent together to solve them, you can even, not only can you solve problems for the whole planet, mm -hmm. you can reach talent on the whole planet. Because now you, on the internet, it's, I find people in Switzerland, I find people in Australia, I find people in China. We work together to solve these big problems. It's really exciting. Is there anything that you may be working on, you know, here in the UAE that you can, you know, fill oh, us in on? Well, everything that I'm working on now, I want to bring to the UAE. Oh, wonderful. Um, uh, this place has vision like crazy. It has sunshine like crazy and has ambition to diversify. Mm. So I want to bring all the ideas I'm working on right now exactly here. That's I why I'm here. I yeah. can't wait to see that happen. Uh, it's been so wonderful <laughs> meeting you today. I've absolutely loved your energy. And I thank think you. you've, you've sprinkled a bit of, you know, that angel dust, oh, I think, you. you know, with everybody you meet. Thank you so much for being with us, Paul. Great talking to you. <laughs> thank, thank, you. thank you. Thanks.